All right, it's the first day of events at the Paralympics in Tokyo, and 43-year-old Dame Sarah Story continues to show why she is one of Great Britain's greatest athletes. Another great athlete, Emma Payton, <laughs> Not is anymore. here with us in the studio. She just keeps doing it, Emma. I know she does, and it's to be honest, it's hard to sort of put into words and, and do her story justice. You look at those pictures behind you, and you think world records, gold medals, sort of just become a bit of a routine, hasn't it, for Dame Sarah Story? And I think it's quite fitting actually that she won Paralympic G Paralympics GB's first medal of the whole games, first gold medal as well, of course. And it's quite a dominant display this morning, Mike. If you're watching a C5 individual pursuit, she broke her own world record en route to the final, which I suppose just kind of showed the kind of form she was in really but we talk about her journey this is her eighth Paralympic Games the first Paralympic she went to was Barcelona 1992 29 years ago incredible yeah. really isn't it um, her gold medal today her 15th of her career uh, just going to show you now just to put into context the medals that she's won in terms of her Paralympics career uh, 15 gold medals 10 of those in cycling five of those in swimming the bronze and silvers from swimming as well uh, for those that don't know she actually moved to cycling ahead of Beijing 2008 so effectively Mike she's had two careers really Incredible. and she's not done too badly in either of them um, and you're going to hear me say it quite a bit uh, over the course of, of the next week or so but she came into this games as the most decorated female British Paralympian. You can see why with that medal tally there. Um, but she can take the overall record of any Brit. So Mike Kenny, he's got the record at the moment, 16 gold medals. Sarah Story has two events to go. So she can come away with 17 gold medals in total. She's still got the road race and the time trial on the road to come. Um, but you mentioned her age at the beginning, 43. Mm. Uh, incredible to have this sort of endless career, really, because she's still going. She was even asked about Paris ahead of Tokyo. And she's said, uh, I haven't ruled it out. <laughs> you know, it's only three years away. Um, she's had children in that time yeah. as well. And uh, after winning that gold medal this morning, she, she talked about her children who would normally be there. They'd normally be in the velodrome. They're everywhere with her. She's got an eight-year-old daughter, Louisa, a three-year-old son, Charlie. And they go, you know, to training camps with her. They go out on the bike with her as well. Um, so it's quite emotional to see that this morning. An incredible achievement. Like I said, she's not done yet in Tokyo. And actually spoke to British Cycling Chief Executive Brian Facer earlier this morning, who, who spoke about what she's done for the sport and, and what she continues to do for cycling. I'm here today at one of our disability hubs in Manchester as well and you can see by the amount of people that are riding around as well all of these have been inspired by the performances of our paracyclists uh, in the past and specifically Dame Sarah Story who, who sits at the top of that and sets a glass ceiling for everybody else to achieve so you can't underestimate the value that she brings to us as a sport as well she's an amazing ambassador. Yeah, she certainly is. Um, just very quickly, because I want to put into context, I said about her breaking a world record en route to the final. That time of 3 minutes 27.057 would have be beaten uh, Rebecca Romero, who actually won gold in the event when this event was last in the Olympics in Beijing 2008. For, so for people who, who aren't really sure of, of where that would rank in terms of the timing, that just puts it into context, really. She's just a top athlete. So she's got... Paralympics GB's first gold. Where, where are the other medals come from today? Yeah, it was a bit of an onslaught of medals this morning, actually. <laughs> Dame Sarah's story uh, started it all off. Um, one of the other medals actually came from her final as well in the individual pursuit. Crystal Lane Wright, she finished second. So a silver there. There was also a silver in the men's B individual pursuit, also in the velodrome. Steve Bate, along with his partner, Adam Duggleby. And in the pool, we've had three medals this morning as well, this morning our time, I should say. Uh, Reese Dunn on his Paralympic debut with a silver medal. That in the S14, 100. 100 meter butterfly. Uh, Tully Kearney just saw this uh, about half an hour before I came on air to chat to you. It looked like she was going to take gold, but she got edged out into silver. That in the women's S5 200 meter freestyle. And it was bronze for Tony Shaw as well in the women's S9 400 meter freestyle. So look, just a really brilliant first day of action and plenty more to come as well. Mark. Oh, indeed. Emma Payton, thank you very much for the update.